Hey everyone, Redzo here and welcome back to another episode of Ichimi. In today's episode, we'll talk about the new Moto G Stylus 2022 and how it compares to the Galaxy Note. We'll also talk about ProDuo's future plans for EVs and hybrids. All right, so without further ado, let's just jump into it. A teenager in Pakistan has confessed to killing four of his family members in a fit of rage. He did this after playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, better known as PUBG. The 18-year-old teen had shot dead his 45-year-old mother and three of his siblings in their home in Pakistan. The police said that he had lost his senses after hours of gaming and took his mother's pistol out before heading to her room. He then shot at his mother and his siblings, killing them all on the spot. Ali apparently thought that they would return to life, like how it happens in the game. This incident caused authorities to want to ban the game to prevent these violent acts. However, this isn't the first time that Pakistan tried to ban the game. Back in July 2020, the Pakistan Telecommunication Authority had banned PUBG Mobile, calling it an addictive wastage of time. Eventually though, a meeting with PUBG led the ban to be lifted. Even though violence in video games have so far not been linked to violent behavior, I still recommend taking a break if you're getting too frustrated. If you've visited Pavilion recently, you might have noticed a huge tiger outside the mall. I'm talking about Samsung's new 3D billboard to get ready for the Samsung Galaxy Unpack 2022. Kuala Lumpur is amongst the five cities in the world to showcase the ad. The ad shows a 3D tiger bursting through digital barriers. Samsung says that it aims to highlight how its next smartphone lineup will have advancements to low light photography technology. As for the Galaxy Unpacked event, here are the details. They'll be unveiling the latest Galaxy S22 series and it'll be taking place at 11 p.m. 9th February, 2022. Besides that, they're also expected to reveal the Galaxy Tab S8 series. This isn't the first 3D ad to wow Malaysians. There was previously a Golden Bull ad last year to celebrate Chinese New Year. If you want to see the 3D billboard yourself, you can head to Pavilion Elite Kuala Lumpur from now until 9th of February. Perdua wants to make the most affordable EV to buy and own in Malaysia. Perdua and Daihatsu are studying EVs together after being approached by the government. EV in this context refers to hybrid electric and full electric vehicles, with the former coming first. This is in line with the Malaysian government's plan to be carbon neutral by 2050. The government is also targeting that by 2030, 15% of total industrial volume will be EVs. However, Produa predicts that the number will be closer to 5% than 15%. Produa is prioritizing affordability alongside the technology and environmental aspect. Their CEO says, We want to give Malaysians mobility. We want to let Malaysians enjoy this new technology. This study is basically how to make electrification affordable to Malaysians. Perdua plans to introduce a line of hybrid vehicles before the EV, and the Perdua Ativa looks like the perfect candidate to receive the hybrid treatment. It's safe to assume that the Perdua Ativa will be the first model to receive a hybrid powertrain. As for a Perdua EV, we'll have to wait a little longer because Daihatsu doesn't have an EV yet and is planning to release one by 2025. Motorola's Moto G Stylus 2022 is here, being a budget alternative to the Galaxy Note. But what corners did they have to cut to fit the phone in the budget class? The first budget thing that you'll notice is the feel of the body of the phone, which is made out of plastic. The screen is a 6.8 inch, 90 hertz LCD panel with a full HD plus resolution and a 20 by nine aspect ratio. It's paired to a MediaTek Helio G88 SoC with six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage with the ability to be expanded up to 512 gigs via a micro SD card. It runs on Android 11 and will be getting Android 12 soon. At the top of the screen, there's a 60 megapixel front camera. At the back, you'll find a triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel main shooter, 8 megapixel ultra wide shooter, and an 8 megapixel macro lens. There's also a 2 megapixel depth sensor. On the right frame, there's a power button which also doubles as a fingerprint sensor, and there's also a volume rocker. On the bottom, there's a headphone jack, USB C port, and the stylus dock. Powering the device is a 5,000 mAh battery, which Motorola claims will give you two days on a single charge. However, NFC support has been removed from the device. The highlight of the Moto G stylus is that it comes with a stylus that can be docked inside of the phone. Motorola did not create any stylus-specific drivers to optimize the writing experience. This is why you'll find a latency between your stylus strokes and the line displayed. The Galaxy Note, on the other hand, has a refined stylus experience that offers things like air actions, 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity, and low latency. The Moto G Stylus 2022 is available in the US for USD 299, which is about 1,200 ringgit, and comes in twilight blue and metallic rose. Compared to the Galaxy Note, the Moto G Stylus isn't so refined in the stylus realm, so don't buy one expecting a Note experience. All right, that's it for me today. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to Soishin Chao, follow our TikTok, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.